like it's more about and like I hope by the end of the day we can create all the sites we've been working on in just really prime shape um, when we get out of here. Working with the Colorado 14 Initiative along with Wild and Restoration volunteers and we are helping out this very swampy area. There's a lot of water because a lot of willow, the willows retain a lot of water and all the runoff from the snowpack. Um, we're just building checks, hopefully to retain more soil so when water does rush down it doesn't take the soil with it, creating gullies as you can see. So I'm putting in a check in, putting multiple checks in today, quite a few. Um, to just retain the soil. This project, right, right now, is really fun to just get out to see um, how thankful people are. And they, they can see how, how much <laughs> fun it is to walk in the mud and they appreciate how much hard work we're doing. They can see us sweating and carrying logs and gravel. So they, they all seem very genuinely thankful. So it's always nice. We're up here at beautiful Mount Bierstadt. And uh, the project this week is focusing on this willow section. And it's an area that's had historically a lot of problems with people cutting around and just being extremely marshy. And so the, the focus of the project is to raise the trail up out of the marsh areas and push the water off the trails. So we have the, the crew doing some turnpiking, which is putting logs on either side and then filling with, uh, I guess, soil and, and other rocks that are more, that allow water to pass through a little bit better. And then we're putting in a bunch of water bars and things like that. So, uh, so yeah, with, uh, with this specific AmeriCorps crew, we've put in about three big turnpikes or causeways to raise the trail up here at Mount Bierstadt. Uh, and they were also working with us at the O'Fallon property, which is up by Evergreen. Uh, we put in about 400 feet of trail before we had a big project, and then they probably built another four or 500 feet of trail uh, on the project. And they did a phenomenal job there, picked up trail building um, to a point where they were competing with the, the resident trail crew there, which is awesome. Doing a lot of trail uh, closure, a lot of social trails impacted the wilderness um, out here. We've been working for about, I think like nine days in a row now, so we're very tired and the work is very strenuous, but the community that is presented here with uh, WRV and CFI is awesome. Um, we're camping right here, so it's, it's super beautiful every day and you know, we really appreciate the opportunity. It's been really great having the AmeriCorps team up here. Uh, they're extremely hard workers. Um, they're, they're way exceeding our expectations on the amount of work we want to get done. And they're also just a lot of fun to have up here. I want to say a huge thanks to AmeriCorps as well. Um, first off to the crew. 